The Arabian Peninsula, also known as just Arabia, is a peninsula of Western Asia and considered a subcontinent of Asia. It's the biggest peninsula in the world and it's famous for its sand, 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 and of course, camels. And, well, maybe oil as well. Arabia is made up of quite a few countries, including Yemen, Oman, Qatar, Bahrain, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates, as well as parts of southern Iraq and Jordan, which feature in other videos. The flag of Kuwait was adopted in 1961, and before 1961 the flag of Kuwait was red and white, like those of the other Persian Gulf states at the time. The present flag is in the pan-Arab colours, but each colour is also significant in its own right. The colours meaning come from a poem which says, White are our deeds, black are our battles, green are our lands, and red are our swords. The flag of Qatar is maroon, with a broad white band with nine white points in the hoist side. It was adopted shortly before the country's declaration of independence from Britain in September 1971. The flag is very like the flag of the neighbouring country Bahrain, which has fewer points and a red colour instead of maroon. Qatar's flag is the only national flag having a width more than twice its height. The national flag of Bahrain consists of a white band on the left, separated from a red area on the right by five triangles that serve as a serrated line. The five white triangles symbolise the five pillars of Islam, and the red side is said to symbolise the Kawajara sect of Islam. The flag originally had 28 white points, but this was reduced to 8 in 1972. In 2002 the number was again reduced to 5, so that each of the points could stand for one of the five pillars of Islam. The flag of the United Arab Emirates was adopted in 1971. It contains the pan-Arab colours of red, green, white and black, which symbolise the Arabian unity. Merchant ships may fly the alternate civil ensign, a red flag with a national flag in the canton, and each of the seven emirates within the United Arab Emirates have its own flag, apart from one exception which uses the federal flag as a state flag as well. The flags are derived from the red flags traditionally used by the different Arab Emirates around the Persian Gulf. Under the protection of the British Empire, starting in 1820, it was decided to add a white field to the hoist of the red flag. The same basic pattern can be seen in the flag of Bahrain and the flag of Qatar, emirates who decided to not join the United Arab Emirates when it was created in the 1970s. The flag of Yemen was adopted in 1990, the day that North Yemen and South Yemen were unified. The flag is essentially the Arab Liberation Flag of 1952, introduced after the Egyptian Revolution that same year in which Arab nationalism was a dominant theme. According to the official description, the red stands for bloodshed of martyrs and unity, the white for a bright future, and black for the dark past. The national flag of Oman consists of three stripes of white, green and red, with a red bar on the left that contains the national emblem of Oman, a dagger and two swords. Until 1975, Oman used the plain red banner of the indigenous peoples. Green is traditionally associated with the green mountains which lie to the north of the country, and red is a common and traditional colour in Gulf state flags. The flag of Saudi Arabia is the flag used by the government of Saudi Arabia since 1973. It's a green flag featuring a white Arabic inscription and a sword. The inscription is the Islamic creed. The green of the flag represents Islam and the sword stands for the strictness in applying justice. The flag is manufactured with an identical back and front side to ensure the creed reads correctly from either end. The sword points to the left on both sides, the direction of the script. Because the creed is considered holy, the flag is not normally used on t-shirts or on other items. Saudi Arabia actually protested against its inclusion in a planned football in the 2002 World Cup, as Saudi officials said that kicking the creed with the foot was completely unacceptable. The flag is never to be flown at half mass as a sign of mourning, because lowering it would be considered blasphemous. And interestingly, the flag of Iran is also never flown at half mast. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe and share it. There's more flag videos on the way, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.